So the first steps here is to add in some leavers' names. Generally speaking, when you work with a school or an organization that's going to ask you to do leavers' designs, they're going to send you a spreadsheet with some names. So depending on the school and the age group, you're either going to get just first names or you're going to get first and last names that they're going to want to put into the design. So to make it um, make this webinar event easy for everyone, I'm going to show you how to do it with both names rather than just one. Uh, but you can just skip the step of adding the surname and first name together um, and go to uh, the next step after this if you're not afraid of using one name. But so that everyone's covered, I'll show you how to do it. Normally, you're going to get the names in two columns, and that's why this first step is important. You need to be able to combine these two columns together nice and easily. If you just copy and paste this data from, from here, it's not going to look right in the actual design. So I'll show you what that means. Let's copy that data. Try and put it in here. And you can see the spacing, the columns are not right. That's what we have to do these particular steps. So to combine these two columns, what you need to do is use this formula. It's equals, select the first column you want to use, then the and symbol. Then we're going to add a space in by using some quotation marks. This is where if you want to add more spaces in, you can add more. I'm just going to use one for now. And the and symbol again, and then the surname. Hit return, and you can see it's created one column with everything you need. So all you need to do then is drag that down, all the way down to the bottom, so you cover every single name. Nice and easy. So, another, so next important step here, so you've got your full names like that. But they're only done as a formula. So to be able to do the next step of where we're going to turn them so that you've got one line of names, which is the best way to copy into Illustrator, we need first need to select all these names, copy those, then we're going to paste them in a new tab. And we're just going to paste the values. So you're not going to take any of the formula with you. So you've got nice, clean data, which will be great for copy and pasting in a minute. Next step is if you copy then, if we, can, we can't copy and paste from here, because again, we're going to have the same problem with the columns. Copy and paste that into here. See, it doesn't look right. We need to do a couple more steps before we can get to the, the right point. So I've selected the data. Then what I'm going to do is right click in here and choose Paste Special. Then it's going to give me the option to transpose these. What that means is just going to put them all into one line, one row, nice and easy for you. So click OK. There we go. You can see that all the data has now gone all the way across in one line. So this is going to be the best way to actually um, use for um, putting it into Illustrator. Then what we're going to do is if we still copy just from here, they're not going to have quite the right spacing on them. So I'll just show you what I mean. So then if we go back into Illustrate, Illustrate, you see the, the spacing is not quite right because when it reads the data you've copied and pasted here, it's trying to read a tab in between each name, which doesn't look quite right on the actual finished product. So next step here is we're going to save it as a CSV file. Save as, leave as file, leave as data, and click save. Then what we do is we open up Notepad. We're going to open up and find that file again. So when you first click open, it will just it won't find it straight away. That's why you just look for all files and it brings up. But you'll see here because it's a CSV file, it's adding a comma in between all the data. But we obviously we don't want to put a comma in the leavers design. So what we do is we click Edit and then we do a replace. So what it's going to do is going to find every single comma, and it's going to replace it with a space. And again, here you could add multiple space in here if you want to, depending on how you want to lay the design. I'm just going to use one space here. Click replace all, and you can see straight away it's spaced out my design nicely now. So I select all that data. And now when I copy and paste it into here, you can see everything fits a lot nicer. It's not, not still quite perfect, but the spacing is consistent for all the designs. 
Um, obviously, every school is going to be different in terms of how you can have some names that are extra long, some names are extra short. That's why then you can do a little, only have to do a little bit of formatting from here. So you could say, say for instance, the bottom area here doesn't quite look right. So you could perhaps space out some designs a little bit more and it'll gradually start to um, fill that data up a bit more. You could potentially um, make sure all the names are on the right left right line and you'll soon start to add a little bit more um soon start to look a little bit smarter for the actual end user that way so you can see immediately it's starting to space out more now and look better this is what you expect to leave this design to look nice and neat and uniform across the design file so that way it's it's really really nice and easy i mean it's i know there's a few steps to be involved but it's consistent and it'll work every single time you do it so just to kind of reiterate the steps you download the levers design from custom.targettransfers.com which is from the easy view designer then what you will do is open up your email when we send you the levers template which is what you see on the screen here and you have the choice to add your own school's badge in here, add your own logo into the neck label template, and then you will use Excel, the Excel data you've got to create a CSV file, which you will then open up in Notepad and use to copy the data into here so your levers design looks absolutely perfect.